One of the few advantages, and I do mean few, of getting older is perspective. Aging gives us the experience of living through things. The more we grow through these experiences, we gain a greater perspective and viewpoint. I still remember my first broken bone and the terror that gripped me when I saw my arm at an unnatural right angle. I panicked wondering if I would ever be able to use my arm again. My mom assured me that I would be healed up and back to my favorite summer activities soon enough. The doctor sure enough reset and casted it while I began waiting for that glorious day to have full use of my arm and fully restored. The perspective gained from that, living through that experience, became a little clearer to me when just a few months later, I got my second broken bone. It still wasn't an enjoyable experience, however, I didn't panic. I knew the drill, as they say. It meant that I wasn't stuck in the immediate view of my brokenness, but instead, I had actually begun to adopt a longer view of healing ahead. In times like we are living today, we need a long view. We need to be able to have hope that is anchored on healing instead of the short view of trouble and suffering. Paul writes about the importance of this in Romans 8. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later. With eager hope, we look forward to the day when we will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. Notice that taking the long view in life doesn't mean that we are without pain, hurt, doubt, fear, anger, loss, or betrayal in the short term. We will still cry, bleed, wait, and experience times of brokenness. But these short view experiences do not find us alone, for even while we groan, we are met in that painful short term by the Holy Spirit who helps us in those times of weakness. Following Jesus means that we allow Him to transform our perspective to the long view of God's working in our lives and in this world. Faith in Jesus and His salvation lifts our eyes from short view sufferings and adds a long view perspective of hope. And that hope lifts our eyes and focuses through the immediate into the glory ahead. I love how this verse describes the eagerness that comes with a long view approach. That phrase creates a picture in my mind of moving to the edge of my seat, just peering ahead to the destination. It reminds me of getting that cast off finally. I was leaning forward, watching the doctor remove that cast and so eager to see if the bones in my arm would be back to their normal orientation. And so also, in Advent, we learn to lean forward and to look for the day when Christ returns, when all that is upside down will be put right side up. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we look forward to that day of your return. We see things around us and we experience suffering and pain in these moments. Yet, you give us an opportunity to endure these moments and you see us through those moments that we might not only experience your power, your goodness, your healing, but that we would also learn a greater long view perspective. Would you grant that to us during the season of Advent? Especially, Lord, as we await and we lean to the edge of our seats, anxiously awaiting for the day when you will return. And until then, Lord, fill us with hope as we continue to follow you, as we continue to be changed by you, and as we continue to follow the mission that you have us on. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.